Hi, I am Virendra Rajput from CAD Learning Resources. In this Katia tutorial, you will learn to create a simple 3D model. Click on Start, go to Mechanical Design, click Part Design, enter part name here, Simple Solid Model 1, click OK. Click XY Plane, click Sketch. First, draw a rectangle of 90 by 50 units. So select rectangle. Click at the origin, drag the mouse, click here. Click outside, double click on constraint. Click horizontal line, drag the mouse, click here. Select vertical line, drag the mouse, click here. To come out of the command, click on constraint. Double click on this dimension value and type 90 from the keyboard. Press enter. Double click on this value. Type 50 from the keyboard. Press enter. Click on exit workbench. To give thickness to this rectangle, click on add. In type, select dimension and length is the thickness. So in our case, it is 10 units. So type in from the keyboard you can also change the direction of thickness click on this arrow rectangle will get thickness in the opposite direction again i will click on this arrow now click ok now to rotate this part we can use this compass left click here and hold and drag the mouse so you can rotate this part along the vertical axis. Similarly, you can click and hold here and drag the mouse and rotate this part. Similarly, click and hold here and drag the mouse. Or to rotate this part, you can click and hold middle mouse button, left click, hold it and drag the mouse. Now click on the top surface. The selected surface will be highlighted in orange color here. Then click sketch. Click rectangle and draw one rectangle here. Click outside. Double click on constraint. Select this line. Drag the mouse. Click here. Select vertical line. Drag the mouse. Click here. This height will be 20 and this length will be 30. Double click on this value. Type 20, press enter. Double click on this value. Type 30, press enter. To come out of the command, click on constraint. Now click vertical line, press and hold control and click this edge. Click constraint define in dialog box and choose coincidence. Click OK. Select horizontal line, press and hold control. Click this edge. Click constraint define in dialog box. Choose coincidence. Click OK. Again, click exit workbench. Now, click pocket to remove the material. Type dimension and depth in units. Click OK. Now use compass to rotate this part. Click and hold here, drag the mouse. Now click on this surface and click sketch. For zoom in, zoom out, press and hold middle mouse button and left click and then drag the mouse. So to pan the drawing, press and hold middle mouse button and drag the mouse. Again to zoom in, press and hold middle mouse button, left click and drag the mouse. Now we have to draw this profile. So click on profile, 
click here draw one vertical line one horizontal line again vertical line here horizontal line and one vertical line drag this point to this draw one vertical line and close it click outside now click this line press and hold control and click this edge of the part click custom define in dialog box and choose coincidence click ok again click this line press and hold control click this edge click custom define in dialog box choose coincidence ok similarly select this horizontal line press and hold control click this edge of the part and make it coincidence click ok now double click constraint select this line drag the mouse click here click here drag the mouse click here again select this line drag the mouse click here to come out of the command click on constraint this height will be 10 units double click here type 10 from the keyboard press enter this is 20 double click here type 20 press enter this height is 20 double click here type 20 press enter okay now press and hold middle mouse button left click hold it and drag the mouse now we have created this sketch here now we will give thickness to this profile in this direction so just click on exit workbench rotate it now you will see this is the selected profile in orange color click on pad type in dimension now this arrow shows the direction of thickness we want thickness in this direction so click on this arrow length is the thickness in our case it is 20 type 20 from the keyboard and ok click outside now click this surface click sketch click rectangle draw one rectangle here click outside double click on constraint select this edge drag the mouse click here select this edge drag the mouse and click here to come out of the command click on constraint double click here and type 40 press enter this is 20 so double click here type 20 press enter now click on the horizontal line press and hold control click this edge click constant defining dialog box make it coincidence ok again select this line press and hold control click this edge and make it coincidence click ok click exit workbench some of the time it may happen the sketch is not selected that means it doesn't uh, appear in orange color so suppose i click here now the sketch is in white color it is not selected now if i click the pad it won't show you it will ask you profile surface selection it is showing no selection so just click here and click the sketch now this height is 20 so in length it is 20 mm and type is dimension thickness direction is correct so click ok click outside so in this way we have completed this simple 3d model thank you for watching please subscribe like and share thank you